guys, welcome to another episode of the We Are Never Truly Alone podcast. And today we're doing it a little differently. We're actually doing a TikTok live. So welcome everybody in TikTok world. We are live at The Conjuring House here in Boroughville, Rhode Island. And I wanted to make this special Halloween weekend extra special for all of you guys here at home. So I have one of my truly bestest friends, Jacqueline Nunez, owner of The Conjuring House, here to talk to us all about being and owning at The Conjuring House. Thanks, Tiff. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I've been wanting to get on your podcast. Yes. Thank you. Here we are. I'm so excited. I know. On this rainy, <laughs> shitty day, you just brightened it. Oh, I'm a ray of sunshine. <laughs> I am a ray of sunshine. So if you guys that are at home watching on TikTok, if you have questions, please feel, get your, please feel free to get your questions in. We're going to do our best to answer those questions. And if you notice that this is a little bit of a different decor than what you guys have probably seen online, just so you know, we are outside of the Conjuring House. We are in a trailer mm -hmm. outside of the Conjuring House because there are live tours going on right now where there are um, a lot of people inside the house. And mm -hmm. so we figured it'd be easier. Our original plan, of course, was we're like, we're going to sit outside because the Conjuring House sits on a beautiful eight acre land where you can see the house and its glory. But unfortunately, it's pouring rain. So... Jacqueline and I decided, let's do the trailer. We're going to do trailer talks at the Conjuring House. <gasps> oh, I like, I like that. <laughs> trailer talks trailer at the Conjuring talks. House. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. Oh. So if you guys are not familiar with the Conjuring House, it is one of the most haunted locations in America. And mm -hmm. it was there was a movie called The Conjuring put out in 2013. Correct. That is loosely based on The Conjuring House. And our good friend, Andrea Perrin, who the Perrin family, that is the whole idea behind The Conjuring House. She has since then have gone on the road, spoken about her experience, her paranormal experience here at the mm -hmm. farm, and also is a well-known published author, House of Light. House, House of, of Darkness, Darkness, House of Light. I right. always go for the light first, but it's because right. I'm a little angel. So, um. <laughs> so yeah, the Conjuring movie, yeah, loosely based on their lives during the 10-year period that they lived here in the 1970s and all the uh, paranormal activity that happened to them during their time here. So for some of us that are just really new with understanding what the Conjuring House is, my first question to you, Jacqueline, yeah. is can you explain a little bit of the how pretty much how famous how widely the house became yeah. yes. and why well so the the movie certainly launched the fame of of this house this location because of the story of the parent family and it is it is known as one of the most haunted locations in the world and also as part of that fame is the fact that we are are and have been a very active location. So even, you know, beyond that 10 year period of the Perrin family owning it, there's been history of paranormal activity that has occurred here with at least all the owners that we've been able to talk to, you know, including most, most recently me. There's a ton of activity that goes on here. And so it just adds to the fame and the allure of it for people to come here and experience in different ways the uh, the activity that's going on. It's really pretty magical and beautiful. We love it. So, okay, so I have to ask this question because anybody in the Boston area knows who you are. You are a big, real-time business real estate developer. Yeah. And so at what point were you like, you know what, I'm going to change it up. I think I'm going to buy this farmhouse that has a lot of publicity around <laughs> it. Like, what made you think, like, at what point were you like, uh -huh. hmm, instead of, maybe investing in like another another location mm -hmm. in Boston or maybe somewhere in New Hampshire. Yeah. What made you come here? So this was, uh, was a very personal purchase for me because I've been doing a deep dive into spirituality. I'm a practicing spiritualist. I'm a member of a spirit, uh, spiritualist church up in Arlington, Massachusetts. So I've been doing a deep dive on this for a very long time. I've experienced a lot of mediumship with people. I've been through past life regressions. I've deep deep dive so when the house came for sale it was an opportunity for me to combine my own personal growth and passion right in the spiritual realm 
with a location that would really allow us to continue and, and, and explore the, con the continuity of consciousness, right? That's what's happening here. I love that. I You're love right? that. And whether yes. you call it paranormal or whether you call it a spiritual experience, it's all the same stuff and in that, my mind. So, yes. And that's what we get to experience here daily. Proof of, of that. And I can so relate to that because, as you know, I'm a spirit medium. I'm yeah. a spirit medium here at the house. So, right. like, being able to connect on that spiritual level. But I love the paranormal stuff. I love going to locations that have a, a distinct past to them. Mm -hmm. And so before I became a full-time medium, I actually did more paranormal stuff rather than doing the mediumship. And then it wasn't until I was able to piece both of them together. And now I can, you know, do the mediumship in these so-called haunted locations yeah. and i love it so yeah it's, it's definitely a hobby that's turned into a passion yeah. so and I, your livelihood yes yeah and my livelihood yeah absolutely yeah absolutely no, we have some questions. oh we have questions okay uh how did everyone feel when they first walked into the house the first time you walked in oh that's a good question so how did you feel i knew immediately i felt at home and i knew immediately that i wanted to to own this place it was immediate like i love it i feel at home and at peace here i really want to be the owner of this property it was a done deal for it you. was yeah it yeah, was a done deal yeah. in my heart boom yeah for me i felt honestly peaceful and happy there wasn't anything that made me nervous and i've i've stayed at the house well i haven't slept over yet yep. that's coming but I've spent many long nights here at the house and not once have I ever felt nervous or scared or anything like that. But I also feel like you have really good energy, Jacqueline. I have good energy. And I think that's, it's the energy that you bring to the table. That's right. That's right. This place has a way of amplifying the energy that you bring, right? If you come with love and light and goodness, that'll be amplified yes. back. If you come in with bad intent intentions, that can be amplified. It's yes. all about your intentions and the energy that you bring. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Absolutely. And also, guys, for you that are following us here on TikTok, <laughs> I'm Spirit Tiff, your favorite spirit medium. <laughs> Make sure you follow. And you can follow me on Instagram. And she spirit really Tiff. is like the best spirit medium I've ever seen. There's oh. no doubt about that. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> And also, you guys, The Conjuring. Is it The Conjuring House on TikTok? Is it The Conjuring yeah, House? It's Conjuring House underscore official. Okay. Is our is our site. And yeah. I follow them our on channel. TikTok. So yeah. if, if you missed it, you can find out um, who I'm following because I only follow a couple. So definitely make sure you check them out on TikTok and Instagram and all that good stuff. And yeah. yes. Um, if you want another. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah. And guys, just so you know, we have some fun, fun filled things that we have in store for you. Some tricks and treats, if you will. Oh, we do. OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> but we're going to see if there's any spirits conjuring up in the trailer, if you know what I mean. OK. Um, can you please tell us about the graves in the backyard? Sure. Uh, so the story goes back to when the parent family lived here. Little Cindy Perrin, she was in our middle bedroom upstairs, and she would be awakened at night all the time being told, there are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. There are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. Now, of course, the parents, they didn't understand what that meant, like they're thinking the wall of the house or whatever. So when Corey and Jennifer Heinzen bought the place, uh, they had ground, um, ground penetrating radar done. And so they were able to locate five, what is believed to be grave sites, um, and they're flagged outside by our, it's by a stone wall. So um, have not located the other two yet, but we know where there are five. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And that was something that I had no idea about until I started <coughs> working here. So yeah, you know. really about the mm -hmm. soldiers? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. I never a lot knew of soldier that. energy here, and in the basement, a lot of soldier energy at times. Have you personally soldiers. stayed in the basement? I haven't slept there. No, no, no. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it actually really doesn't look that comfortable, yeah. so I wouldn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> really, it's the spiders and the snakes that would creep me out. Right. More yeah, than the snakes. The, oh, well, we've seen the yeah. snake skins. When, when, before you yeah. even like did anything to the house, we saw like all these snake skins hanging in the basement. I was a little freaked out by that. That's what freaked me out yeah. was the snake skins. Yeah, yuck. Absolutely. Yuck. And, um, oh, I didn't know if there was another. Yeah. Oh. So Have you ever felt negative energy in the house? There definitely is a negative presence in the house, for sure. Uh, we don't feed it or give it attention. But yes, there have been times when I have felt it, and I just shut it down. And this entity, presence, whatever it is, can present sometimes with a really foul smell. Ew. And so, you know, so it has presented that way a couple of times. But... Uh, so the answer is yes, but we don't give it attention. You know, whatever you feed will grow, so we don't feed it. Starve it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Have you experienced any paranormal activity on a personal level? Y- yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, here at the house. Uh, yes, a lot of paranormal activity <laughs> in the house from disembodied voices one morning after our christmas the morning after our christmas party i had cooked pheasant for abigail arnold because she had requested that we cook pheasant so the next morning i'm cleaning in the kitchen and i hear a disembodied voice say hello i'm like hello (laughs) and so i assumed it was i'm like hi abigail so voices footsteps doors one time I was cleaning out the upstairs middle closet. I was getting rid because we have like a million hangers in there. Yeah. I'm like, I'm getting rid of some of these hangers. So I start removing the hangers. Next thing I know, I see like, I just hear this crash of hangers, like just being like smacked, like in there, start spinning. And I'm right. like, don't worry. I'm leaving you hangers. I'm not taking all the hangers. Don't worry about it. We just have too many. <laughs> So, yeah, things like that happen all the time. Well, and that's what they say, too. Like, whenever you do anything different to the house, yes. if you have a renovation, anything, it stirs up the, it, the spirits. It can stir up. Although I know that the, that the spirits have been very happy about the renovations that we're doing to the barn. So I know that they're happy about that. So, yep. Can we talk about that? No. Or no? no? Okay. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. I wasn't going to bring yet. it up. But no. Okay. No. So there's just a lot of <laughs> renovations. We yeah. have a lot of renovations. Yeah, a lot of, Im- lot of improvements going on at the Conjuring House, that's for sure. Well, one thing that you did, too, this past summer was, so not only do people come here to do tours, and then they can spend the night and do a paranormal investigation and so forth, but you did something totally different this summer, which I thought was so creative and awesome. So what did you do? The gamping you're talking yes. about? Yeah, so we call it gamping for ghost camping. We had eight sites over the summer we just had our last night in the middle of october so people can come and rent out a tent and investigate outside and we have a big uh fire pit that we would light every night so because we have eight and a half acres it is our land that is known to be haunted and why the house has activity so yeah so the gamping we'll be doing it every year so the fun thing is is i thought it was glamping and i'm like do i just not hear that l and then I realized, no, it's camping. Yes. It's definitely camp because I was like, oh, my gosh, where are the white candles and leopard print rug? And there will be no candles and leopard print rug. Yeah, no. But there's a nice fire pit out back. There's a fire pit. We have cots. We have <laughs> lanterns. I mean, yes. it's, it's, it's rustic, but it's the tents are nice. People have been having a good experience. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's fun. More qu- Yeah, that's the negative presence that I was just speaking about earlier. Uh, And this presence can present with a broken neck or with that foul smell. Uh, I have not seen an apparition yet. I've seen. You just answered my question. Yeah, I've seen like shadow figures, you know, but I haven't seen an apparition yet. So I have not witnessed this presence. I've heard the ghost cat. Yes, the ghost yep. cat has rubbed up against me. The ghost cat was very active the other night during one of our hosted investigations. So there's definitely a ghost cat. Absolutely. We have a couple of them, actually. One in the barn, too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Actually, the next question is, any activity in the barn area? Yes, there is a ghost cat in there. So John Arnold and his father built that barn in 1801, and we know that John Arnold hangs out 
in the barn a lot. In fact, my electrician has heard, recently heard him walking upstairs in the loft area um, when he was in there working. Wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. He's like, I'm hearing footsteps. I'm like, it's just John. He's, <laughs> he's fine. He's, he's just fine. loitering. He's just checking it out. Right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Are there more? No. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, so, okay. One thing that I know when I do the readings here in the house is that I feel that my readings are so on point. And I think it's because of the spirits in the house that are helping me. I believe it. And so when you have other people, like, have you, have you had, so I'm grateful for the house because I'm here all the time. I'm grateful for the house. It always provides me with really, really good energy. Yeah. And I know that you're also very critical of who you allow in the house as well. Yes. So have you had experiences? I'm, I'm sure you have. But I mean, have you had experiences where you've actually had to tell people to leave because they didn't obey? Because I know when you get you guys, if you don't know this, when you come to the conjuring house, they give you a waiver that you have to sign. And there's also a list of rules that you have to follow. Yeah. And so, I mean, I've signed the waiver. Everybody signs yeah, the waiver. Everyone signs so the waiver. have you ever come into contact with people that just broke the rules? Uh, somewhat. I mean, we haven't, not during my ownership, have we had to kick anyone out. We've had to threaten it a couple times. But then once we threaten it, they they kind of, you know, straighten up and start following the rules or whatever. You know, sometimes we get people that have... You know, really negative energy that, you know, I've only a couple times where I've felt creeped out by someone coming in the house um, and wondering what kind of energy that, that they will be stirring up. But no, for by and large, the guests that come here are fantastic. Uh, I am very particular, though, about who, especially like with mediumship, uh, you know, I, I haven't approved any other medium to come in. <laughs> So, <laughs> I mean, I just no, haven't. I'm just, you I'm ha- teasing, no, I'm teasing, it, no but. it's true, though. They would really have to demonstrate that that they're really that they're really, really good. Right. By giving like that evidential. Right. Yes. That, that yep. Confirmation of the specifics that you give. They they would have to match that for me to allow them to come in and, and host an event. So <clears throat> so I am very selective, if you will, of who we want to collaborate with. Well, I remember Andrea Perrin contacted me and she's like, you have to meet Jacqueline. She's taking over ownership of the house. You have to go there. And I've known Andrea for years, for years, over 10 years. And I've never been to the house. So my first time coming to the house was to meet you. That's awesome. Right. And it was just you and me. And I remember it was... Yeah. Was it 4th of July? Or it was, was like, like right around 4th of July? Yeah, over that weekend we sat and in the same... You gave me a reading. Yeah. I asked you to give me uh, um, a reading, which you did. But, I mean, we just hit it off. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I know, right. I know. Your vibe so attracts now. your tribe. <laughs> exactly, that's right. exactly. Yes, that's so right. I'm very <laughs> grateful for you and our friendship and how that everything gotcha. has like just totally... Um, blossomed. It's yeah. conjured up into something beautiful. It so is. I'm it's very awesome. grateful for that. Back at you. Do you think the movie is a good representation of the actual story of the house? I, I mean, the movie, y- you know, they never claimed to be making a documentary, right? So they made a movie, they dramatized it. Some aspects of it are true. Um, the thing that's great about the movie and why I appreciate the fame is because its fame is bringing people in to really then learn the truth about our location. Yes. Right? So it's, it's, it's a magnet for people to discover the truth. Exactly. So that's, how I, that's why I appreciate the movie and appreciate the fame. And it has totally blown up. Like, for you guys that are unaware of what The Conjuring House has done, like, it's not just people in the New England area that come here. There are people that are all over the world. All over the world. We had people fly in from New Zealand and they had missed their tour that they had signed up. And they're like, oh, my God, we must have, you know, we just put them on yesterday. And they were just so grateful. She was almost crying when she arrived. Oh. I mean, yeah, we get people from around the world. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I've had people fly in from Florida to come here for my readings. I, 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 so I know. It's awesome. It's, it's insane to it me. Is. It um, is. We're lucky. <clears throat> but I love it. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And... You know, I just think that it's what you're doing to this location, just like you said, is you are not only like 
honing in on why it has struck up such a, a name for itself, but you're opening up to spirituality. Yeah. You know, I did a, a group, I did a group, um, where it was for summer solstice yeah. and we went, we kind of released mm-hmm. what no longer served us. We released it into the fire. Yeah. So it wasn't just about ghost hunting. It's right. about spiritualism, which is spiritualism, spirituality incorporates all of that and connecting and connecting right? connecting yep. with energy and and spirit i mean that's what that's what makes me happy i love when we just got an email from guests last night like oh my god something happened last night through one of the devices that we were able to confirm today that has just changed our lives like it's just oh, it's i love beautiful that. right and you change people's lives yeah. through your mediumship we're right? just changing it, lives it, left and right Jacqueline that's right you know love it. no it's great I love what's it what's the question the next question is what do you hope comes out of the conjuring house now that you know yeah I think I, I yes. think I just yeah. an- answered it right that people apparently can we're psychic <laughs> to have right asked that question <laughs> that people are able to come here and you know experience it's it's a wonderment really when something happens when you experience something that it just blows your eyes wide open, yes. blows your heart wide open, and just makes you want to know more. And this is the kind of place that can do that for people. And, and I love it. And there's no turning back. Once you have that aha moment, there yeah. is no turning yeah. back. You're like, wow, this is real. Yeah. This is real. So have you, have you, since you've owned the house, do you think your own personal intuition and psychic ability, ability have been able to like just expand yes and improving all the time you know and I'm I I consider myself um if I'm any of the Claire's I'm Claire cognizant Mm -hmm. I just I just know things I always have I just know yeah uh like I'm not a medium I'm not a site you know I'm not any of that but I am getting pretty good on my dowsing rods yes so (laughs) so guys okay we're in for a treat okay surprise (laughs) trick or treat okay so we, I decided, I'm like, you know what, my TikTok family, again, if you're not following me yet, Spirit <laughs> Tiff, your favorite spirit medium, give me a follow. The podcast that we are filming live is called We Are Never Truly Alone. Make sure you follow on Apple and Spotify, but also follow The Conjuring House official on TikTok. And mm-hmm. if you guys are Sam and Colby fans, they were just here. Oh, before we get into the doubt, mm-hmm. I have another question. Yeah. But Sam and Colby was here, so Colby. everybody's going bananas over that. Right. Right? Yes, so yes. that must have been an experience. Yes. Well, you know, and Cody and Satori and their message. Amazing. You know, we've... We have hours of footage and conversations with the spirits of the house through the abilities that Cody and Satori have. So it's, it's just amazing. So that was cool to see. I believe that the house um, chose Sam and Colby to be the first ones to kind of begin to release more of the messages coming from here. Yes. Right? And, and actually, my opinion, Sam and Colby are like the tip of the iceberg of what's coming. I think there's a lot more that the house and the energy here has to share with the public that I think will just continue to unfold. It's insane. Mm-hmm. I never knew how how much leverage those boys have and it, it's it, but it's beautiful it's because beautiful. it's just opening it up so much. And they did so it much. they have done a great job. Mm-hmm. Very I thought that they did a very respectful job in terms of how they treated Treated the material. They're about ready to come out with a fourth video. Um, of the I, house? They, yeah. Of, oh, my gosh. It's a four-part series oh, that wow. they did. Yes. So they released the first one, the second one. It's very entertaining. They're actually getting a lot of evidence on devices and stuff, REM pods. And, I mean, tons of tons of evidence besides Cody and Satori. They're getting tons of evidence. I uh, love is, that. Yeah, it's I pretty love cool. That. It's pretty cool to watch. Was there a question? Oh. Um, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Okay, so before we begin the tricks and treats, um, <laughs> is there, since I know you've been getting a ton of celebrities here in this house, Yes. is there one celebrity that you would really want to come here? Do you have someone picked out? Oh, I mean, who wouldn't want Taylor Swift to visit their location? Why do we get Taylor <laughs> Swift here? Yes! <laughs> She has a house in Westerly, Rhode Island. She's not far. Okay, we're we're setting our intentions, girl. <laughs> okay, yes. A, a funny story. Okay. When Jen and Corey, and I'm going to throw Corey under the bus, Billie Eilish emailed 
Stop it. To come. And Corey didn't know who she was. And he deleted her email. Stop it. <laughs> yes. We're like, you did what? Yes. Can he find it? He has to recover No, it. I mean, no. this was like three years ago or something. He didn't know who Billie Eilish was. How cool would that but have been? But can I tell you? So yes. the funny story is that yeah. I have a playlist and I was listening to my playlist yes. on my way here. I parked the car. Guess who was singing? Taylor. Bill- no, Billie, Billie Eilish. Eilish. Right. So I would love so. to get her too. I really want Taylor Swift to come. Um, <laughs> yes. And you guys know Matt Reif. Yes, I was, he was not here. part of that. I found out through other sources. I wasn't here. I didn't get to meet him. I wasn't here. I know. She, she wasn't even sure who he was about yeah. and then I found out through the grapevine and yeah. I'm like help a girl out girl I honestly probably don't know maybe some of the famous people that no, come that's through okay. here yeah, that's like, okay so Taylor Swift is your like hopefully she, she's my like yes but that, you know I'm what? aiming high on that one six, six degrees of Taylor Swift so of course the majority <laughs> of people love Taylor Swift well she was seen my friend has a leggings company yes booty by Bray Brands, yeah. and she was seen in her black croco leggings that's cool. Yes. So <laughs> I'm it just could saying happen. we're conjuring it up. <laughs> it could so happen. So six degrees of separation. There you go. You know, and of course, once she was seen with the Croco black leggings, they sold out in I, a, like I a bet. hot minute. I bet. Yes. I bet. Yes. Um, all right. So now on to, unless, are there any questions before we begin? I mean, this could kind of go into it, but someone asked if Abigail is here right now. That's well, a good question. I'm, I'm, we can ask. She hasn't been around the last few days i've been told that she is whenever we ask the spirits we don't have spirits that are trapped here i just want everyone to know that they are they come and go on their free will but john and abigail arnold will often tell us when they're not here they are at the good place they're at the good place and all they describe it as is somewhere that's really beautiful and i don't know if they meet with their spirit guys i don't know what they're doing but She's been at in the good place for the last few days, so I don't know if she's back or not, but we can we can see. I love it. Yeah. Do any spirits stay because they have unanswered questions or have healing that needs to be done? That's a great question. I'm sure that that is possible. We don't know. We don't really know that answer. The as for the more permanent spirits, I don't think so. I think they're here because they love being mm-hmm. here. But we also get a lot of spirits that pass through mm-hmm. or might just, we're kind of like the Grand Central Station of the paranormal world, right? right? Like right. we have the permanent and then we hear names all the time that we haven't heard before. So um, perhaps there are spirits that are drawn to the light here that come here to maybe get some questions answered for themselves. So that is quite possible. I have a question. So I know you get a lot of people in like the TV business as far as ghost hunter type yeah. paranormal groups. Yeah. Has there ever been, before they have messaged to come here, has Spirit ever provided a name of someone from like a well-known paranormal group where uh, you're like, oh, that's weird that that name should pop up and then they contacted you? I, not to my knowledge. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Yeah. I'm just curious. Um, people are asking about uh, Cody and Satori. Are mm. they yeah, yeah, Cody and Satori. Well, they are, they are definitely on staff. They're not on staff this week. We rotate every week different staff, and we will never publish, you know, Who's when, who when. is when. Um, and it's also, we've had to make it very clear that when they are here on staff, they are not performing their method. Uh, they only do it organically by people that they run into. So, uh, so if they don't take bookings, we're not taking bookings for them. And they will not be doing the method for any guests that that we have here. So that just kind of needs to be out there. But what they do is truly unique and special. I don't believe that they're the only ones in the world that can do this by any means. Right, right. I bet there are other people that are able to do this. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. (laughs) And I don't know if it's like a soulmate connection thing or what, but my guess is there are a lot of other people in the world that can do this. Absolutely. Um, So they just have to discover it. And with Cody and Satori, they both have a background. Cody has recovered from cancer yep. and has had near-death experiences because yep. he was on with me a while back right. talking about it. I've known him since he was like 17. Yep. <laughs> I've known him for a long time. And same with Satori. Like she, 
she comes from a family line of being completely open to spirit. Yes. So I feel like that definitely helps them mm-hmm. in their way of having a full understanding. And now they've just agree. created this like beautiful bond. But I'm just saying both as individuals, they both have had their experience of spirituality in some yeah. shape or form. I, yeah, I, I agree with you. And yeah. yes. But what they do is incredible. And and powerful because it is it is physical. You hear the it's footsteps. Amazing. You hear the answers. You hear it. It is truly amazing. I actually had um, I was with them last year. We were at a a hall um, doing a private investigation, mm-hmm. and so I tried to do it with them. And w- when it was the three of us, we could do it. Right. But if it was just me with Cody or me with Satori, it didn't work out as well. <laughs> right. So, but one thing that I will say is that they ended up bringing through my friend. And, oh, oh uh, yes, that's cool. Yes. And so I, I recorded it mm-hmm. and I sent it to my friend, my friend's wife, because it was my friend's husband who passed away and everything. There was no way they would have been able to know anything. I didn't talk about my friend, not like, they got everything down pat, and I was just in awe. And so um, it's funny because her daughter was watching the Sam and Colby yeah. video, and she was like, oh, my gosh, those are the guys that brought Dad through. And so they were so – because she, so, she gets readings from me all the time. And yeah. it's one of those things, like, by association, it's kind of like, oh, well, Tiff said it. Right. So, yeah. Like, t- she didn't realize, like, how powerful it is. So by her actually seeing them on – um, Sam and Colby she was like oh my gosh this is so exciting that's cool so but their their gift is absolutely amazing and they're beautiful people their personalities mm-hmm. they have huge hearts you know they're never going to take money f- to mm-hmm. do this they just want to help people with it um, though they're they're wonderful I'm very lucky to have them on staff for but sure Tori is an amazing artist by the way yeah she is she is I agree. So amazing. Yes. I was thinking about that today for some reason cuz she she is an amazing artist. So um, do the spirits enjoy communicating or do they sometimes not like it? I that's a great question. I think uh a lot of the spirits love communicating. You know, kind of like we humans are right. they're the extroverts and the introverts and you know, Abigail Arnold is a big old extrovert. She loves yeah. communicating. John Arnold, not so much. He'll communicate with me. He'll communicate with just very few people. So it, it depends on the spirit. Some couple spirits don't like it at all, right? right? So it just depends on who, who we're talking about. Um, can you ever feel if someone's cursed or has like negative energy coming into the house? I mean, certainly there have been times that people have come in with negative or, you know, low vibrational energy. I've never looked at them as being cursed. Right. It's just, you know, they're low energy or negative or whatever. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, Has the dog ever seen a sphere? I think so. My, My cats have for sure. I have two cats and they've reacted often once in a while she'll react but you know she reacts more to people than she does to right. spirits yeah dotty dotty <laughs> dotty girl <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see her but she's here with us <laughs> come here dotty yeah, that's pretty much it. okay so, so what's next for the the house just opening it up and opening and it up we're it we're steep in our halloween weekend yeah and things will slow down a little bit after halloween and just you know doing our thing same old same old tours investigations hosted invest gallery Gallery readings readings. yes Yes. i i'm here every month guys so definitely if you want to get tickets there's still tickets available just a limited amount of tickets for the month of november and december so now is your chance get your tickets come join us come meet jacqueline come meet dotty come meet john and abigail arnold (laughs) and you never know who's gonna be here so all right. All right. Thanks so, for thank having so me. Much. I'm so happy. Nice to chat with if, you. If you guys want to book or follow The Conjuring House, make sure you go to The Conjuring House official on TikTok and also The, Conj- um, the Conjuring House on Instagram. 
And again, I'm your favorite spirit medium, Spirit <laughs> Tiff on TikTok, Spirit <laughs> Tiff on Instagram, and We're Never Truly Alone is this podcast. Did you know? Sorry. All right. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And thank you, Jacqueline, for joining us. Thanks for having and me, Tiff. Yes. We can't wait. Let's go talk to some spirits now. See you later, guys.